Happy Sunday, everyone. Hope that everyone has had a wonderful weekend so far. Pardon me, I'm a little parched. I probably should have drank before starting the stream. All right, we are back into it with Banishers, and my controller's are not working. Why is my controller not working? There we go. Okay. Now I have to remember where I left off. I feel like I say that every stream. I probably do. Where am I? Oh, right, right, right. Fort Jericho. Okay, okay. See, I just needed a visual reminder. That's all. Once I get the visual reminder, I'm good. Helping these folks over here. And this Helen woman is in a similar situation to me. Because she's got her dead lover hanging around her, too. Maybe her dead lover and my dead lover can be what? besties. Open the gates. Ghost besties. Priest. Hey, Debbie. What are you lot waiting Happy for? Sunday. Open the gates. Still Sunday where you are, right? Go talk to Pennington. Make him understand if you can. Hope you had where a good weekend. He hides in his office. I'll find him there. I haven't had a chance to others? stop by your streams, you? but uh, you've been job? doing Nightingale, Matthews. right? We were ambushed. They fell. They got oh. have mercy Excuse you, you just bumped right into me. There's ammo in the elevator. Send Shepard and Abbott to bring it back. Good to see you living, sir. Yeah, you too. Keep it short. I'm on duty. Okay, how do you like Our it so far? Doing. Fighting fit? Well, they're farmers, most of them. Shopkeepers, house servants, hunters. We've one old soldier, but he's sick. Them who stand, stand dead on their feet. Fighting fit, my arse. But we hold against the hordes of the dead. And now, leastways, the fight's not fair, does it? Not really. No, that's wrong. We're doing our best to put it right. Wherefore, the paradise of New Eden, me. Eh? What a hole we've made of it. Mind you, if we stop digging, we die. Yeah, fair enough. Peaceful watch to you. Captain Pennington, eh? You don't mind if I take this, right? I was supposed to go this way. Yep. The network? Oh, what well, you keep getting like disconnected and stuff? Seems to be a common problem with multiplayer games nowadays. That's a pain. Looked like a really uh, interesting premise for a game. Cotton Peabody's sister. My dearest Cotton, I know it's been a long time and I know you asked me not to write you anymore, but you broke my heart the day you asked me to stop contacting you. I shall try one last time. Guy doesn't know how to take a note. <laughs> I am sorry to learn about your health and I hope you will recover soon. Errol and I have a little girl. I know you never accepted my love for him, but we are happily married. We named our child Mary like our beloved grandmother. We live in a beautiful little house. We have a cow and some chickens, and Errol has found work as a blacksmith. It is not an easy life, but we have food on our table and fire in our hearth. I feel happy and loved, and I would like you to feel the same. We'll try to send you some money. 
till we hear from you. Your worried sister. Ah, it's her. Oh, it did say Cotton Peabody's sister. What a weird name. There were lots of weird names back then, though. Lots of letters hanging out here. Jeez. Uh, sickness of a soldier. Oh, Private Matthew's poetry. Shadows start to sing. The sky is falling. The day turn into nights. The specters are at my door. I hear them clawing at the gates. I can run, but I know I'll never escape. The shadows are my friends. I hear them calling out my name. Then something scratched out. I'm living... I'm a living shell with no soul, just a ghost haunting his own house. I walk towards death, breathing my last breath. Mother used to say, death is only a horizon. I used to be afraid, but now I'm ready for my sun to set. Depressing? Uh, Talbot Williams letter number two. My sweet Ethel. Interesting way to spell it. Some of my comrades are sick. I can do nothing for them, squeamish as I am. Matthew spent the night at the nurse's side carrying spew and buckets. A good man, though he speak little. I am cold, I am hungry, I am tired, and there is fighting yet to do. What's this? Official document. With the death of Private Forabury, According to the Forberry's wishes and to award his military exploits during the Battle of Bloody Brook, Teddy the Shadow is appointed to be the owner of Forberry Lake properties, including his rifle. May the Shadow carry this fine gun with honor. Kind of an ominous name. Have you also tried and shrouded or just Nightingale? I mean, they're they're both survival games, but you know the the premise behind them is different. Whichever records, reports, and other documents were transported from New England are now locked upstairs in the armory for access. See me. Okie dokie. Captain Pennington. Pennington. No time. Haven't tried that. Oh, okay. I've been told that one's good, too. I'm not sure which one I want to try more, though, to be honest. Uh, Enshrouded. It's called Enshrouded. Mr. McGrath, you live. I do. There's work to be done. Work. But only me, not the other half. You had work, a mission, to bring one last glimmer of hope, to gladden our hearts before the pit takes us all. You secretive bastards haven't helped. The job is done. There's no more hope and little enough time. All that remains is the pit. Yeah, check it out. If you, if you really enjoy uh, survival games. If you enjoy that genre, I'd check it to out. The last stand, Welcome to the end. I've been trying to get a, a key for it just yet, off of key mailer, but uh, they haven't sent me one. <laughs> a waste of effort on both accounts. Hardly. We saved a life. Resupplied, you may save more. For the sake of what? For the sake of days, a week, perhaps? You save no one. You prolong the terror. The dead will come. Okay, yeah, in that case, I recommend checking it out then. Soon enough. The end is inevitable. It is if you will not act. It is if you will not act. You're the officer. Take command. Surely you can't intend to do nothing. You sound like priests. She has changed. Her return to Fort Jericho has made her impulsive, irrational, quarrelsome. I believe she did not fully grieve her husband's loss. Returning to the scene has, it seems, reopened the wound. It festers. She'll join the lieutenant soon enough. But now the fences crumble at the last. The pit shall take us all. Hmm. 
Yeah, I've, I've played a played a good number of survival games myself. I usually like the genre. Um, I think the first one I really started getting into was a uh, Stranded Deep. That came out in early access quite a number of years ago now. Um, the Long Dark. That's one that I I really like. Um, the Forest and Sons of the Forest. Hey, Blue. Happy Sunday. How are you in spirit doing? You guys uh, pretty much all better at this point or still on the mend? Fair to say your tactical retreat from New Eden Town has not served you. The town was doomed to fall to the curse. We disagreed on everything. Okay, good. Good to, to hear. Leave. We did not know there'd be no escape. Are you guys still no doing Sons of the Forest the streams, or, or did you him. wrap that up? We never agreed on anything in the first place. The new Smiths are I haven't seen any woods, come up recently, but you know, YouTube can be kind of inconsistent. <laughs> they may leave for Boston, but the curse okay. will follow. The curse will follow until their backs are against the wall. How do things stand, Captain, as you see them? Uh, little has changed. We're the inconsistent. Okay. <laughs> okay. We shoot them Fair down enough. and gain respite. Soon, the onslaught begins anew. The clock of our extinction ticks on towards the hour. We may no more defeat the dead than we may vanquish the ocean waves. Uh, is, is Spirit thinking about checking out that, um... Oh no, what's the name of the game? Horror game coming out in March. Um... Oosh, that's gonna bother me. Alone in the Dark, there we go. I know it was somewhere rattling around in that head of mine. Alone in the Dark. Folk have little enough hope, and you're leading them further into the darkness. I've heard the whispers, the murmurs. Plotting Sounds from the familiar, so probably. Yeah, it's got we a David Harbour in it. We resist till retribution rises from the pit and drags us all to. I want to play it, but I think well, I'm gonna have to for. put it on the docket later because Dragon's Dogma 2 is coming out agony. in like a How unfortunate. week. Because thanks to you, oh, Dave, the um, you do you know the, the, the show Stranger Things, the Blue? The Netflix show? Yeah, so David Harbour is the uh, the sheriff from Stranger Things, the one that takes um, L in as his as his uh, adoptive daughter. That's David Harbour. Yes, Hopper. Yep. So David Harbour, aka Hopper, is playing one of the main characters in Alone in the Dark. Yeah. I mean, I, the game already seemed interesting, but when I found out he was in it, it made me want to play it even more because uh, I, I like him as an actor. As the commanding officer, you must know all the local lumps. It's uh, coming out like March. The lumps and bumps can smooth themselves. Twenty-four for something. It's coming out really soon. It's like, of course, it comes out like a couple days after Dragon's Dogma Two. There's, there's been, like, just a flood of games. I mean, ba this game, Banishers, came out in February, so this wasn't even that long ago. I, I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time to stream all these games. Why did you come to New Eden, Captain? Why here? As it is, I'm going to have to Far find time for Dragon's Dogma 2 before I finish this one. <laughs> I'd shot enough Frenchman. Yes, you'll just have to watch me and play it. <laughs> Maybe. Did no one come with you? Keep to your business, son. Yeah, I might have to, cause it's just, it's just a can't get to it all. On the wall. A family. I had a wife and daughter once. Once. I'll not entertain you with their story. Okie dokie. How do things stand, Captain? As you see them. No change. 
Yes, the alone in the persists. dark. Correct. We move towards our end. All right, it sounds like you're done talking Permission to me. Permission to take my leave, Captain. And if I refuse it? Are you trying to recruit me, Captain? Do you really think I'd take the King's shilling? <laughs> if I were to offer enough shillings, I'm sure of it. I need no new lieutenants. But if you wish, you may stay. This key unlocks the unused watchtower. You'll build it while you're here. Well, thanks, I guess. <laughs> Bit of an unpleasant one, aren't you? On the one hand, a captain beaten by the world. On the other, his rival haunted and mutinous. In a fort besieged by vengeful spectres. There's a haunting somewhere around here. I know the shit, there's something else. Something darker. Yeah, there's a, there's a How haunting often somewhere. How must we have this fight? How often must we argue? We shall argue until you hear me. I hear you. Where is this haunting? The narrow path, the selfish shrew. One of these days, I shall poison your soup. And the day before, I'll take you to the highest cliff and push you off it. Excuse me? Do you guys want to talk about it? <laughs> like, what the heck? Please excuse my husband. He really is as unpleasant as he sounds. And who are you, then? At Red McCraith, ma'am. I'm a banisher. Are you, indeed. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Banisher. I'm Abigail Rumble. Did you say Banisher? <laughs> me and my husband should soon be able to go back to our mountains. You and your husband prefer an isolated life outside the fort. I have a roof above my head. My belly is rarely empty. And I live by my beliefs. We suffered for many years. By comparison, this is bliss. Do not find it dangerous out here. Just the two of you alone. I thank you for your concern, but we live how we live. And it makes us quite contented. So contented you're ready to kill each other. Your husband won't mind us talking. No. Why would he? We are faithful and trustworthy. As, I'm sure, are you. She doubts your intentions. No need to worry about me, ma'am. I'm spoken for. Good. We understand one another. My husband and I are very close. Very close indeed. Then you have close my admiration. to each other's throats. Sustaining such <laughs> closeness takes much tolerance and hard work. You don't know how good you've got it. Anything top worthy? Round Very these suspicious parts? couple. Ferdinando Miller has been the talk of the town lately. He has had much good fortune, and many resent him for it. I like the lad. He's polite, helpful listens to his customers he deserves no backbiting yeah, what what's about your thoughts Pennington? on Pennington a good leader he gave John a job that was good we hadn't worked since we left the Bly place he saw John's promise and gave him his chance I I'd say he's a good leader okay Helen Priest seems to get the work done. The captain trusts her with his life. So do I. John adores her. When the fort was attacked, she proved us right. I like having a strong woman in charge. Fair enough, so do I. All I'll right. let you get back to your day, madam. If you need anything, feel free to ask. Sure. I guess I could say the same to you, considering, you know, your husband threatened to throw you off a cliff. Although that was after you threatened to poison him. So, uh, not sure where the, where the blame goes there. <laughs> Both ways, I guess. Yeah, she sounded very willing to chat, right? <laughs> 
Uh, White's letter for William's family, June or July 1695. Madam, though you do not know me and I not you, I am told by my commander officer that you are betrothed to young Talbot Williams of the New Eden Train Band. A good man and brave, it is sad indeed that he is dead. Well, jeez, just let him down easy, why don't you? On a sortie into the wilds in search of ammunition, young Williams and his comrades were beset by enemies most terrible. Alas, it pains me to tell you that they fell. We shall remember young Talbot as a man always quick to volunteer, never complaining, no matter the hardship imposed upon him for his service. There is not a soul in the train band who did not consider him a friend. Going to sleep now. Okay, no problem, Debbie. I, I'm sure it's very late where you are, so thank you for stopping by, and I hope you have a wonderful night. I feel like this letter is in the wrong order here. <laughs> Could have could have come down a little bit easier. Uh alright. Seriously though, where the hell is this haunting? Over here? A store. Fernando's? I don't You're know. new. From where have oh. you sprung? You're the guy that just Name's threatened to throw his wife a off a cliff. Come from across the deep blue sea. Uh, yeah, that's You're pretty late. <laughs> should get some sleep. You should feel right at home. John Rumble. I've met your wife. Fine woman. She is that high. Get myself lucky. Are you Do a you? Man, Mr. McCraith? <laughs> Marriage was the for us. Well, I suppose you could have called us man and wife. No, you could not. Marriage is a union conceived by men. Men are fallible. Do I detect a hint of regret? Regret? Oh, I have no regrets. She's a fine woman, my wife. Finer than likes of me deserves. I not say a word against her. Not a word, sir. What's the word round here? Look around. Sure had words to say to on. her. You'll have to be Miller to enjoy the situation. The merchant? Aye, the freedman. He's the only one who'll leave Fort Jericho with more than he came with. Some people have all the luck. Hmm. What can you tell me about Captain Pennington? What about him? I don't know. Is he a good commander? Do you like him? Does he have secrets, that kind of thing? If say, I thought him a blockhead, then I'd not say so. If say, it was my wife's stupid idea for me to join the train band, I'd not say that neither. Okay. Can you tell me anything about Helen Priest? A bold woman, clever too. I'd be glad to take her orders. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm interested in Sebastian Priest. Do you know him? I did not, but I know the lieutenant's name. We all do. He died a hero. It, oh, oh Call okay. Call to Helen, no doubt. Just, uh, barge your way in, why don't you? May you prosper in good health, John. He that does good is of God. All up in his face there. Yeah, just a little bit. Oh, I can't go in yet. It's locked. Where is... Whoops. That was... That was the wrong button. Seriously, where is this haunting? Rebecca had a plan for herself and Ferdinando. Here. Look for a store. Yeah, we did look for a store, and it's not unlocked yet. You can't get it, but you can slow it down. Oh my goodness, I just this did it again. Pointless. Good day to you. Uh, miss. I keep hitting X miss? instead of Y. I'm the Hunter Flora Abbott, and I never miss. You? It is rare, but I... I've been known to miss. Red McCraith, Banisher. I heard about you when you first arrived. 
Is your friend not with you? She died. She's with me in spirit. Sad to hear it. I have nothing cleverer than that to say. If you need anything, well, I probably can't help. So Wish is honest. For the fort. Are you part of the train ban? I serve, in my way. Before the curse, I traded with the people of New Eden. Meat and fur bartered for whatever they had that I needed. How did you end up in New Eden? You won't mind me saying that you're not like most people here. And yet, I am a New Englander. Born on a farm not far from Boston, but always preferred the wild. So I came to New Eden. In time, I came to love it. It's cursed, and I'm still here, aren't I? Hmm. What do you know? Huh? Tell me about your day to day. If I did, would you listen? Sure. Why not? Talk to me of Captain Pennington. I've worked for worse. I'm able and I give him no trouble. In return, he makes sure I get none. He respects me. That makes him an excellent judge of character. Don't you think? Hmm. What can you tell me about Helen Priest? Not my favorite person, if I'm honest, but in the fight against the dead, she's an asset. <laughs> How are you yourself? I do my work and do it well, the few notice. I'm hearing a little bit of uh, bitterness there. I'll take my leave of you, Flora. I'll not stop you. Thanks. Oh, down here. That's three times. That's three times in a row now. Three times in a row. Damn it. Alright, seriously, where is this haunting? Yes, this is definitely a dialogue heavy game. But that is to be expected from any game that don't nod touches. Hey, meta! Dang it, it's locked. I need to find the key to open this. Happy Sunday. You working? What's this? Oh, just the Bible. Okay. Wait, have I been in here already? I have. Yep, work. <laughs> Don't sound so excited. Enough, John. I'll not listen to another moment of your ranting. Tis no rant. Penitent backbone is gone, and we're all suffering. Hmm, maybe I can't investigate it yet. All right, let, let me go to the regular waypoint for now. I don't want to keep messing around. Could be worse. Could be underground. Has it uh, not been an easy night so far there, Meta? Super slow today. Oh, okay. Well, you know, slow can be just as bad as hectic sometimes. <laughs> 
at my previous job when things would get really slow. Uh, it would kind of drive me batty. Yeah. Yeah, it does depend on the job, too. That's fair. I was doing, like, three different jobs. <laughs> so, um, it, it was often imbalanced. For a while, it was way too hectic, way too busy. Too much to do. Banishes. May Ooh, I have a word? Helen, what are you doing? Helen. Something wrong? Apologies for disturbing your rest. I'm afraid it can't wait. Um, but then towards the end, before what the layoff, the things captain? got slow. And uh, even with juggling three different jobs, sometimes it would get too slow. Um, to the point where I was having to find extra things to do. I saw an officer alone. A proud man turned to stone, perhaps by years of war. I saw a broken man. I did not see the tyrant you described. Inaction is tyranny. He will not act, but nor will he get the hell out of the way. I do not disagree, but the captain needs help. I too was a soldier, broken and haunted. With Antea's help, I recovered. Pennington may need the same. Leave Pennington to me. The good folk of the fort need your help. You are banishers. The dead, you'll have noticed, hammer at the gates. I would like you to go into the mines and find out what enrages them so. I would like you to do what the captain will not. And while we deal with the hordes of angry spectres, what shall you be doing? When the mines are purged, I'll oust Pennington. How goes it with Sebastian? Well, if it's too slow, the day lasts for you. Yeah, sure. exactly. I had never let go of my. You want to be busy enough so that the day goes by left. at a normal pace, Empty. but not so busy that you're His you know, about to lose your mind. I clung to it. Yeah, sorry Useless. to hear that, Mena. Those days are Husband rough. Died in the dark with nothing but my handkerchief to soothe his last moments, and now he's back. If each worthwhile thing in life is to be lived, and then when it is gone, to be grieved, then what now? I have to believe our love is enough. Love is hard work. We are bound to grieve all the different versions of ourselves. And theirs. I try to hold him and cannot. It taunts me. It was almost easier when he was gone. All things are fleeting. Gaze upon the ghost you love and you can't deny it. Bitter though the thought may be. Yes, tis a blessing and a curse. Yet against all reason, we persist. Let us make the most of time remaining. Is it your belief that Pennington's quarantine lies at the heart of the problem here? How much longer you got, this Meta? This is why the dead rage so. What else? He walled them in. Miners, nurses, soldiers, the healthy or the sick, he buried them all. And then he lied about it. Uh -oh. I'll brook his callous cowardice no more. That doesn't sound good. Where do we go? There is a second tunnel into the mines. The entryway was walled shut during the quarantine. Getting there will not be easy. But the barricade should fall without too much difficulty. After that, who knows? Three and a half hours. Alright, All right, well that's good. You're more than halfway done. If it soothes you, I too am taking a significant risk. The captain has a penchant for locking people up and leaving them to rot. Some years ago in New Eden Town, the captain locked up an innocent woman. A fate I wish to avoid. Okie dokie. We should go. Then it's agreed. When you're ready, you'll investigate the mines. Take the hoist to the waterfall near the outpost you first found me. 
From there, it is not far to the tunnel. Keep your wits and all your luck about you. Okie dokie. An innocent woman jailed. See something. Hmm. There's two hot things in this area. It says to It's barbaric. An officer must be just, or else it all unravels. Helen is right. The truth lies down there. I mean, somewhere. as wolf belts go, it's This pretty. is no coincidence. Have more than enough this of all them. connects back to the Folk curse. in Boston are not short of wolf belt. What do I do with this? You're a merchant. Sell it. Are you I'd sell Fernando? sunshine to the Spanish, but that is not the problem. But my relief was at a party earlier, wolf. according to my social Bring media me spying. I'm talk. questioning if this is going to run bet. into. Ooh. I could get 16 hour shift. I hope no, not. That's brutal. pieces of eight for a bear belt, if it were in good condition. I'll pay you half that. Half of 40 is 20. I'm the one risking my life out there. I'll take the 20. It's a fabulous plan, and I'm so pleased you thought of it. Can mm, I talk to you yet? Indeed. I see only one problem. Lord, shut up. There is no I bear. might need to talk to this Not guy. Out here. They're all gone. Shh, shh, gone to shh, Boston, shh, shh, shh. perhaps, to quiet, sell their pelts. Quiet. Well then. Shh. When they stop return, talking. they shall be naked and rich. You, and stop talking. Okay. Good day, sir. Oh, Without you're you not Fernando. Dang it. What can I do for you? You said shop, so I thought, thought it was remains to be seen. You. Red McCraith, by the way, the banisher. Never mind, never mind. I must go. Thank you for your time. And I'll talk I to you else. later. Whoa, Take Laura, care. you having, having an issue there? No Ferdinando here. I thought this was supposed to be a shop. All right, hold on a second, hold on. There's two. There's two of them on the map. And it says I'm like right on top of one. I need to talk to someone up there. Oh, I guess so, because it didn't give me a choice. You've saved our sorry asses, sir. Of that, there's no doubt. You've earned us a rare bit of rest, and that comes most welcome. You're right, soldier. Look, drop dead weary. The dead don't sleep, do they? Me being asleep won't stop them coming. True, true. Can no one take your shift? You are being dead won't stop them either. Short-handed as it is. Besides, I can rest and keep watch at the same time. Old soldier trick. Let's cut to it. I think you're haunted. The good news is that I can help. <laughs> The Banisher thinks I'm haunted, does he? Nah, I ain't important enough to be haunted. I ain't important, and I don't deserve no help. Wasted time helping me anyway. You heard the man. He wants no help. I see no reason to force it on him. For now, at least. All right. As you were, soldier. Oh, that's one of the hauntings. Who knows where the other one is? I'd like to help him. Old soldier and all. All right. Let's start with his billet. Okay. That I can do. 
Right. Andrew's things. Where are you? Here's something. Okay. Got a medal there. An award given to a brave soldier. I believe we found Andrew's things. Was I not done in here? Oh, what's this? Uh, a letter. Oh, here we go. Uh, 16th of July, 1677, to Private Andrew White of the Massachusetts Militia under the orders of Lieutenant Pennington White, bearing in mind. Your recent endeavor on the battlefield on the advance of your lieutenant, you are promoted to a role to commiserate with your skills. Henceforth, you shall be a recruiting sergeant responsible for ensuring the replenishment of our forces and well-trained men initially to camp at Haverville. Dendum, as we discussed, your health deteriorates and the incident has not helped. You're a good man away. Okay. This is our best lead yet. I wonder if there's an infirmary. After that, we might look for his train band record. Getting somewhere. Let's see. Go over here. The shop be here. Knock and find out. Oh. Closed. Are we in the right place? Try next door. I'm doing two hauntings at once. Whoops. Anyone home? No one. Papers in Miller's name. We're in the right place. Keep looking. He's organized. Disorganized traders lose money. Fonte reads English extensively. Well, nobody's perfect. He's making protective amulets. He's making useless trinkets. And he works hard to keep it away. Maybe she tried to harm him. Let's search the store. Deed of ownership. Herewith remarked and confirmed the ownership of the store here to for known as the property of Mr. Rebecca Hardgrave now passes entirely and without encumbrance to Ferdinando Miller confirmed by the relevant legal authority, meaning me to be registered as is required when circumstances permit. Stock to trade. He hasn't unpacked it. That's luck. Maybe he intends to move on and who could blame him? There we go. Surprisingly high quality wares. Can't be many left in New Eden with the means to buy. Uh, register. Luggage and jewelry box, luggage and furniture. Rebecca's paintings and portrait. Rebecca's calligraphy kit. He's doing surprisingly well for himself. 
Where did he hmm. get the inventory? What I'd like to know. Last will and testament. I, Mistress Rebecca Hargrave in the town of New Eden, being of sound mind and firm intention, bequeath to Ferd Ferdinando Miller in the eventuality of my death, my entire estate, including but not limited to jewelry box, painting a mirror, collection of books, all baggage and their contents, a calligraphy set, sundry furniture, any and all cash money as held in my possession or in my business or with any bank, etc. Well, that just Rebecca's got a lot more suspicious. She was rich. She left him a lot. My son is That's recording a game demo right now and just turned him say, wait, no, I'm actually terrible at this game. I might not right. even buy it. Touch my money and I'll drop you. Hey, Ferdinando. What are you doing here? Thieving, no doubt. I'm no thief, Mr. Miller. I'm the Banisher. I brought <laughs> Helen Priest back I mean... to the fort. <laughs> the Banisher? Just because you're bad at Thieves a game lie. doesn't mean you can't enjoy it. How do you know my name? It is my business to know. Red McCraith. If you are a banisher but, of ghosts, uh, I have business for you. Good on him to, for having a sense of humor about it, though. <laughs> Aye. I know about Rebecca. It was she who sent me to find you. She worries for you. Says she loves you. The English have a word for that. Hogshite. If not for love, why did she bequeath you her fortune? Whichever. It matters not. You're a banisher. It is your job to get rid of her. Can you not just do your work? Easy, Mr. Miller. Right, just struck me as hilarious. I'll need to examine Rebecca's belongings. I sold them. All of them. You did? To who? Got a, I don't got know. a YouTuber slash streamer in the making there. In the register. Read it if you wish. Two recent sales to the blacksmith and to Ingersoll's store. Uh, well, before I well, potentially good. piss you off, let's, let's see what you have. Now, my friend, we are conversing. Yeah, now I'm your friend. Oh, okay, you just have materials. All right, never mind. I can piss you off. You've put quite the effort into protecting your home, haven't you? You poked about my house without my say-so. Yep. I know my business. So out of generosity, here's the truth. None of it works. Not the wreath, not the amulet. None of it works. Pretty, though. His brooch is working. It works. She hasn't come back. I can sleep now. I hear her calling, whispering my name. I wait to find her at my bedside. Our eyes meet. She stares. She won't leave me alone. She's an Akishi, a demon. Banish her. I'll pay you. You I need a job. sure are Except. desperate to get rid of her. Hey, Kebby. Farewell to you, Mr. Miller, sir. Happy Sunday. You know where to find me. If you're buying. Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. It was an incredibly busy week, but uh, got some really good work done. He'd I feel proud of. Everything she owned. And fast. And I secured myself another video editing client in the, in the work of it. Is he wiping the slate clean and moving on? He finally uploaded his first video in three shorts. One of his shorts has over 6.5 views already. He just surpassed me. It's, oh my goodness. I guess he's a natural, huh? Wow. Well, good, good on him. Thank you, Blue. Pretty yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about it. It's like someone's been living in here. Uh, I worked on a video trial this week for a bit over 20 hours, to be honest. It was a big project, um, but the the client was very happy with it. They've agreed to continue working with me. Seems like a really nice guy, too. And the, the content is something, you know, that I'm actually familiar with and uh, is enjoyable to work with. It's It's all Magic the Gathering content. 
where where am I supposed to be going? What am I doing? Who am I? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh okay. Seriously, what the did I miss something inside the house? Is is that what I did? Or over on this side? No, now the thing's going up. What am I missing? Oh, did I miss this? No, I already looked at that, didn't I? Ingersoll store and the blacksmith. Noted. Huh. Maybe that didn't register before. Alright. You'll, uh, you'll have to send me his channel so I can check it out. Forget if I mentioned got the got the first of my wisdom teeth out. No, you didn't tell me that. I shall drain the first How are you feeling? Ready? Hopefully you're not getting uh question every sudden time. No, I'm not dumb well ready. Excellent. Then we'll begin. <laughs> wow. Okay. Be careful, god darn it! Careful! Ah! I know. I know. Shh. Hi. <laughs> You doing okay? Hopefully you don't have the chipmunk cheeks like I did after I got mine so done. Nasty. Poor man. Never a good sign. My apologies. Thank I you. Wish to hush Thank you, you Kevin. I appreciate I that. Focus on Very excited to do the work. Time. Not sure how consistent story. it'll be, but I'm Nurse Wings. It'll pay good. If it sets you at ease. I'm a banisher. Name's McCraith. You may call me Red. Did you just get one Red, wisdom to a fail? Pleasure to see a friendly face. Or did you get or like two? What can I do for you? When they did mine, they did them all at once. Um, but they only took. Did they have to take two? Out? I can't. I don't know that they had to take four out. I think they only had to take two out. I don't know. That was a while ago, many years ago. But yeah, if they're causing problems, then to get rid of them. Of course, I'm still sore this many years later about having four perfectly good teeth taken out for the braces because I was told your mouth is too small. Therefore, there's too many teeth for that size of a mouth. And we got to take four of them out to make everything come together. <laughs> it's really... I was really upset about that. Pain was mostly done in a day. Jaw muscles still sore. Mainly it's my mouth that feels uncomfortable. Yeah. That's gonna... It's gonna take a little time to feel back to normal for sure. But at least uh, the pain didn't last too long. I, Mine was pretty nasty. My cheeks completely blew up. I had to be icing them all the time and taking painkillers. and uh, It was a good three days of just really bad pain they did spirits all at once oof can't imagine that was pleasant Times being only took as they one are, out but I need all four the there was patient. some issues and they were only willing Mr. to P. do P. one at a time uh gotcha Fort Jericho hey Chris happy contention. Sunday folk worry do you not fear infection did you not fear infection if I did, I would not show it. Does he have? What does he have? Not my place to say. You'll have to ask him yourself. Ah, one of those. All right. I'll not press you. It's probably an STD. Just saying. So, how'd you end up here? What brought you to nursing? Not necessarily, yes, but it's you a know. personal question. Back then, there weren't uh, a personable weren't man. a lot of ways to. Uh, That's not the same thing. Protect oneself. I was sick as a child, very sick. Afterwards, I swore I'd serve others when they were sick, and here I am. What about you? Fair. That's a good story, actually. I fell in love with a banisher. One of the best. Spent the happiest years of my life with her. And where are they now? 
and Taya died in the meeting house in New Eden Town. Ah, that was you. I should have known. I'm so very sorry for your loss, Red. So very sorry. Well, thank you. That's kind of you. So you need to go through this three more times, though, since they're only willing to do one at a time. But I mean, if it's complicated, then I can understand them wanting to do it little by little. Helen Prees. They don't want to, you know, wreak havoc on your on your your gums. Seen him in a while now. Oh, but she knows. What can you tell me about Captain Pennington? He fought King Philip and the Wampanoag. Led his company well, I'm told. It's not for me to like or dislike him, unpleasant though he may be. You're not wrong about him being unpleasant. Tell me about Helen Priest. The bold lieutenant's widow. He's dead some years now, and she's not remarried. She's as much a soldier as her husband was. A fighter. Commanding, too. Even dead, you can see his influence in her bearing. I think I know how that feels. Hmm. What about you? How do you feel? Oh, I'm alive and well. I'll not complain. I can be strong for those less fortunate. You're a good soul, Nurse Wings. Oh, I do my best, Mr. McCraith. I'm sure you do yours. I do. Farewell, Nurse Wings. Farewell, and good health, sir. Try to talk to this patient here. Ew. That's a bloody cloth. What's up with you? Oh, there are you. Queen Mary Stuart. Oof. Well, I've met Mary the Second, and she's a little prettier than I. I'm Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. <sighs> the banisher come to gloat at sick old cotton pea body. Well, piss off. There's a sudden stink of death in here, Scotsman, and it ain't from me. You're not doing so hot, are you? Where did you fight, soldier? None of your business, Scotsman. This comrade is mine. No one wants to talk to you. <laughs> you know, soldier, you're a brawler and a rebel, and if you fought at all, I'll wager you lost. I'm a proper soldier, me. Self-made, too. Left the family farm and signed up to fight them Indians. I learned the hard way in the blood and the snow. Fought under the captain himself, I did. And followed him here and joined the train band. When did you get sick? What's it to you? I'm not so sick as I can't give some nosy Scotsman what for. <laughs> when I'm sick, I get surly too. Mm, he doesn't want to talk about what's wrong with him. Body. See about. Not like I can go anywhere, anyways. Well, I guess that's true. Oh, does want me to investigate the infirmary? It says. Oh, oh, here we go. Nuts about Andrew White. Patient's nightmares have increased in intensity. He is very anxious and skips meals. The departure of the children from New England and thus Private White's family has caused him terrible insomnia. The patient gradually regains sleep. A mixture of earth and herbs seems to help a little with sleep. Fewer nightmares. The patient is, however, more anxious. He does not want to talk about the man he sees in his dreams. Private White spends some nights in the infirmary. He starts to be affected by dementia. However, this does not last more than half an hour. The patient has calmed down but still lacks sleep. However, he speaks of shadows and figures appearing sometimes at night when he is not sleeping. The anxious deliriums are much more recurrent. He sleeps very little, sometimes seems to have awakened old painful memories. Pirate White does not dare to talk about it, but he seems to recognize the figure that stalks him in his nightmares. Mm -hmm. 13 years is a long time to live haunted. The ghost is weak, fragile. But strong enough to stick around. What a way to live. Any idea who this ghost might be? You may know a soldier by his trail of dead. Could be anyone. Gotta go to the armory. Oh, I think the armory 
damage, actually. Here. Mm. Oh, there's a downstairs. Storeroom. Locked. Mm, just another copy of the Bible. Uh, can't get in there. This way. Maybe it's up here. Yep, somewhere up here. Uh, Miss Flora Eva has joined the company to fight against the monsters. I'll take every hand I can get, the steadier the better. Miss Abbott, having demonstrated their hand is steadier than any man's by shooting a thimble on a post from a full 200 paces, is hereby contracted to the train band. Those who would complain, Theodore Shepard, principal among them, can go to hell. Fair enough. New Eden, 23rd day of May, 1691. Theodore Shepard is contracted to the train band, a veteran of King Phil's War. He is the finest shot I have ever seen. Less admirable in his arrogance, but I suspect the two come hand in glove. Perhaps. A note to them as reads it, nurse Anne Wings is a fine as is as fine a nurse as one could want. Born to the trade, she is invaluable. I do not know how the sick and injured would fare without her, neither do I know how she would fare without the sick and injured. Oh, here we go. June 8th, 1677, last morning, I took 12 men and rode out from Portsmouth in search of an attachment from the Plymouth Militia, late arriving after three days' mission of patrol. A half-day's ride north, we came across their remains, only one survivor. As he recounted the details of the Indian ambush their attachment faced, I was impressed by the fortitude of this young private. Andrew Wright is a promising and devilishly robust soldier and shall join the Massachusetts Militia under my companion. He shall also be accordingly awarded for his bravery. That's the a one. Metal trinket to mark a life of sacrifice. Oh, I bet he'd rather be sleep back. At least he made it home. Aye. And he didn't. I'll talk to Andrew. Might perk him up a bit. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Should have had your breakfast, friend. Anyway, greetings. Hi. I'm Antea Duarte. This here is Red McWraith. We're banishers. Now, who are you and what do you want? You don't look so good. Are you the ghost haunting Andrew White? Can't Is really that talk. A yes or no? Oh, I think his vocal cords were destroyed. Who are you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? <sighs> Mute ghosts take forever. This is pointless. We're hunting in the dark with no light and no spur. First, you have to find out what's keeping him from speaking. Andrew won't be much help. But if our friend here can't tell us what he wants, 
Maybe he can show us. Okay. Do you want us to follow you? I think he wants us to follow him. Okie dokie. He left stains. Clever. I'll keep an eye out so we don't lose them. Here, we can go on. I'm reminded of one of my first cases. The ghost was mute because the person haunted refused to talk. So this one is mute because of Andrea? I don't ah, know. I thought maybe. maybe it was because when he was living, his vocal cords got uh, destroyed. Guess we'll find out. the dark woods the ghost has something to show us okay we're coming we're coming right here I'm right behind you over here hold, hold on let me hold on the ghost haunting let me get this first week Drawing out the torture, the better to enjoy it? Or holding itself back, afraid to feed too much? If mine had been so kind, maybe to slept night. I'm jealous. Don't be. These ones are the worst. Years, withering, decades even. It's an awful way to go. Hmm. Maybe he doesn't want to be haunting him. Whoa! All right, hello. Neat. Right. Bad wolf. Pizza. Woo! Always funny when you're doing like by. a f a deadly fight in a game, and you just hear the character saying, "Ow!" Our friend the ghost could have shown us a safer route. Or he's just playing with us. Hmm. I kind of doubt that. He's leading us somewhere. Well, that much is obvious, Antea. Not exactly a Sherlock Holmes moment. Okay. Spectral writing on the wall. See for yourself. Ah, you are correct. There's lots of it. I never blamed you, my friend. Our ghost does not seek revenge. That makes things easier. You must abide. Joshua Gouge, gone too soon. Ah, What's Joshua. What's he going to say? Joshua Gouge outstayed his welcome. Forgive yourself, mate. He wants us to follow him. You must not give up. Be strong for me. You must live. Courage, my friend. Alright. I mean, yeah. All sounds like he's hoping to help his friend. Somehow. Oh, I miss this here. Hmm. 
This way. Totally missed. Wow. That was awful. There we go. Your funeral. Joshua looks kindly on Andrew. What were they to each other? I don't know if there's a case where the haunted person is the one who won't let go and is preventing him from passing on. You fight for the man mm. beside you, not for money, not for a king. That's your mate. That's you have friends from the a war. A good point. First Could I've heard be, right? They lost contact. Maybe when this is over, I'll look them up. Oh, here we go. Most young men are taught to dream of war. And when they get there, they... Dream of home. They're not busy fighting and dying, that is. Oh, here we go. What a terrible thing to be taught to dream of. Waiting for us. Who would want to dream of war? Switching. It was unsuccessful. Ow. It's on you. Yep, I'm aware. Just fucking shut the here. Get out of my face. Devil take. Alright, let me get this one up here. Oh. There. Whew. Pain in the butt. See these body parts? Good place to manifest what may linger nearby. Okay. Let's do it. My voice commands you, unveil. Get out of here. Take that to your face. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Why do I get the feeling that this is ducks? Reinforcements. Bad reinforcements. Hey! Yeah, jerk, you made me miss my shot. I think I heard the sound of a gun cocking. Yeah, you did. Woo! 
And he got me. Hey. Ow. Knock it off. Ah! Listen, you. See how you like it. Alright. Stop! Shut up! Alright, where did he go? Get out of here! Don't have time to deal with you pain in the butt! Oh. Alright, let me use the banishment up. There we go. Ready to go. Heads up! Oh, is he gone? Do I have to make him manifest again? Maybe. Turn out and turn up. Oh, man, this isn't over yet. This is, oops. This is one of those things you can keep doing over and over again. That's why it keeps coming back. I misunderstood what it meant when it said uh, endless delete. That's my bad. Oh well, got some experience from it. Like, why do I have to keep fighting this thing? Now I know. Over here. Excuse me. Pick up. Traces of a ghost's memory resonate here. Let's check it out. Then. Shite! Two arms! Two arms! They waylay us! The right flank! Hold them off! Josh! Behind you! Good dumb bustering code! Help me! An old pistol belonging to Andrew. This tie is doused with the essence of its ghost. Once a closure has severed the ghost bond to the world, this essence will be automatically consumed by Antea to make her stronger. Doki. In loving memory of brothers fallen in the fight for freedom forever in your debt. Whoa! Hi.
Nice to meet you again, Joshua. You want us to help Andrew White give up his guilt and get on with his life. Am I right? <sighs> we know you died fighting by his side. Is that why he feels guilty? Is this why you can't speak? I've been there. I'll do everything I can to help. <laughs> if help we can. Only these two could talk to each other. Andrew needs to start talking. As long as he swallows his guilt, nothing will change. There's a wall between these two, and we must knock it down. I may be able to do that. Andrew failed to save his friend and blames himself for it. He shouldn't. Easier said than done. Shame is a queer bird. That shite doesn't wash off. None of this explains what binds the ghost here. circle. Uh, but I don't think I can come down from here, can I? That would be convenient. I don't think it's going to let me. Oh, God. to do it quickly. Gotta go back. Alrighty. Down we go. This way, right? Why does it say that the marker's going up? Oh, am I going the wrong way? I could have sworn I came from that way. This must be where the treasure is hidden. A draft from the invisible. I can't go that way. Why is it telling me to go that way? here right I think all right let me let me highlight that instead oh. Getting all confuzzled. Hey, blind. Uh, good, except that I I've gotten myself a tad lost. <laughs> Even with the map and the waypoints, the waypoint keeps trying to 
guide me in the wrong direction, and it's just confusing me. Because, you know, the, the waypoint's just telling you the distance. It's not necessarily telling you the way you can actually reach the destination. Now I'm Watch not out. sure this is Second the way position. I came from. Die, you bastard. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, Leave that body alone. Hope you're having a good, uh, good weekend there, blind. Is this the way I came from? I don't think so. I went in a completely different direction. You know what? Idea. I've got an idea. Where is this thing? I found the compass super good. Uh, it, it has been so far until, like, now. <laughs> It was basically leading me to somewhere I could not, uh, could not proceed. Oh. Who the heck did that? Not very nice now, is it? Alright, so what I'm going to do is cheat. <laughs> Not technically cheat. I'm going to use fast travel so that I stop getting confuzzled on where I need to go. <laughs> there we go. Good weekend. Very busy, but good. Thank you for asking. Uh. Ah, here we go. Go confront Andrew. Uh, you're not Andrew. Where'd Andrew go? Oh, there you are. Anything to report? Uh, yeah. Your, your ghost. <laughs> I don't usually bring it up, but I was a soldier too. Thought as much. Where'd you fight? Well, first I fought my way across half the Highlands. Later I'd fight wherever my paymaster sent me. Bavaria, Bohemia, Austria. What's your war story then? We all have one. In a tavern in Paris, with three of my comrades, a Turkman stood us drinks and offered us work, fighting for the Ottomans against the Viennese, and the Poles, and the Prussians, and whoever else. And the pay was good, a villa each in Cyprus, and slaves all of our own. I said I'd not have slaves, and I'd not turn my coat. I will, said my friend Lucas, but I'll free the slaves. Mark shook his hand and wished him well. Nine months later, my band ambushed a Turkish emissary and escort to Venice. I found Lucas by the side of the road. I buried him where he fell. Well, probably wasn't you who shot him, was it? Hard to know, I suppose. But you know what never leaves? The smell. That sickening, coppery vapor rising as a man's life pulls beneath him. For all those brave young boys we send off in search of glory, that stink is their rude awakening. Mm. Easier to die with than live with, perhaps. Perhaps. Perhaps not. <clears throat> but come, 
Blood soaks away. Let's not dwell upon the past and men long gone. You say that, but uh, there's the matter of Joshua. We're not like this, but we must speak of Joshua. Leave it be. In the past, where it belongs. I could say the same to Your you. Your past is very much present. Your friend Joshua has a message for you. He wants to take revenge. I know it. Uh, nope. Nope. You're not wrong. He wants to give you freedom. He never blamed you. You blamed yourself. Why would he not seek revenge? He's due it. He doesn't see it that way. It's not like you I, killed him. I shot him. Oh, okay. I was trying to save him and I shot him. Okay. Well, hold on. You, you. How did this happen? Partially killed him. We were skirmishing in the forest. Two Indian fellas bore down on Joshua. Dropped one, but the other had him cold. I was 20 yards away. I raised my musket, pulled the trigger. Bullet went straight through his skull. Uh, I mean, it was an accident, but uh, that really sucks. You took the medal, though, didn't you? Oh, I can't look at it. Bastard and thin as Josh's face on it. I, I don't deserve no pewter medal. I don't deserve nothing at all. I don't deserve to live. I don't want to live. I want to die. Please. Please. Put me out of my misery. What is it with you people wanting to die? Deadly serious now. Are you sure this is what you want? You're in no doubt. I'm certain. I can take it no more and do not want to. I don't think Joshua no. would agree. You survived. Now you must live. Joshua? Is that you? It cannot be. I, I saw you dead. It is, old friend. I've tried for the longest time to speak to you, but your guilt took my voice. You must live in peace. I have not the right. I shot you. I was sure my aim was good, but it was not. I shot you. It was an accident, Andrew. You tried to save me. You failed, but you may make amends. Until you give yourself peace, I cannot have mine. Save me, Andrew, save me. Give yourself peace and save me. Joshua, you have spoken. Andrew, you've heard. It's time to end the story. I mean, I'm obviously gonna ascend for Joshua. He deserves that. I mean, we've got a little bit of blame here, but uh, you are punishing yourself, and it was an accident. So yes, let's let's give poor Joshua the ascension he deserves. Joshua Gouge, you've lingered in silence for too long. You can go. I can. Thank you, Vanishes. Thank you, Andrew. Time to say goodbye, boys. I'm sorry, my friend. I've carried the weight of your death as far as I can. The debt, if any, is paid. Live your life. Farewell, Joshua. You've done your duty and more. Farewell, old friend. Farewell. Joshua, you were a good ghostie, a Casper.
I'm good for nothing after that. Thanks for your help. I'll not forget it. All right, one haunting down. Oh, excuse me, walking right into me. Uh, let's see. Oh, why do I still have two markers? Search the forge and search Ingersoll's store. Oh, okay. Well, can I search the store yet? Oh, is that me? Don't want me going there. There's something on this main level. Oh, yes, there is. There's a painting here. Let's Pretty. See. The work, I mean. Not our ghost tie, though. Let's try the forge. Okay, that was easy. Uh, yeah. Forge. 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 This is the forge. What am I missing? Inside the house. Ah, okay. A note? Let's see. Uh, Theodore's notes. Jo Joseph, I received the things you owed me. They're good. I thought you a liar. It seems you're not. Rebecca's slave, Ferdinando, was not satisfied with his dead mistress's fortune. Ah. Oh, okay. By Pennington's order, he's a free man now and a merchant to boot. This shite shall be the end of us, mark me. Anyways, we are quits, you and I, until we... Until next, we shuffle cars in the barrack with the men. I'll fleece you then once more. Huh. Ferdinando was a slave. She was his owner. She kept that quiet. As if it were of no consequence. We know where to go. The barrack room. Mm hmm. It's kind of a big detail to lay about. A strong memory clings to this place. The quill resonates. An echo, perhaps. I only recognize my name in the list. Distant family. But I can't disinherit them. I would never ask you that. To have met you is already more than I ever expected. If I was to lose you, God forbids, I'd cherish all that reminds me of you. <sighs> if you were to lose me, all that I own would now be yours. He certainly changed his tune. Have you gotten to any other main story bosses? Uh, not yet. No, not I've been her. doing a, doing oh, a no. lot of side stuff. 
Maybe he did once, and now he doesn't. Let's see what he has to say about it. Doing a lot of hauntings. Hauntings and side story stuff. But yeah, I, I do need to uh, return to the main mission soon. All right, Ferdinando. Punisher. Well, Let's talk about talk. you. About your past. I know what they say. They say I am a murderer. They are wrong. As she lay dying, Rebecca Hargrave gave me my freedom. Before that, I was her slave. How very romantic. If it weren't for the captain, the good people of New Eden would have let me die too. Rebecca was in love with you. The feeling was not mutual. True? I was her pet. A dog nuzzling its master, hoping she might loosen its leash. She loved me, she said. I allowed her to think I loved her back. I sat up and begged and let her pet me. I was a very good boy. You gulled her, then took advantage. To a slave, a crumb of freedom tastes like a loaf. You'd have done no different. And I do the same again. Enough mm. chitter chatter. Perhaps you should get Side back to work. Side content is good, though. Yeah. What am I paying you for? Yeah, I don't wanna. I don't wanna miss out on. On uh, on the good side content as well. Ooh. Ooh. You should be getting tired early tonight. Goodness. I'm a banisher, Mister Miller, not a rat catcher. Ghosts were human. They're emotional. Full of hopes and fears about the past and the future, too. To find out what ties the ghost to the living and end the haunting, I must know the story. You want me to finish the job? Then the story must be told. The ghost must manifest. I do not like this idea. This idea can shit itself six times by sundown. Come on, break the brooch and let's get it over with. No choice remains. Let it be done. And I'll be done with it! Okay. Marty, you're here at last! Step no closer! I... I don't understand. Are you not glad to see me? How, Punisher? End this! Not now. You need to hear the truth, both of you. Mm -hmm. It reminds me. Your side Rebecca, quest addiction you is why you won't be able to finish this before Dragon's Dogma comes out. Do you own Thanks. There I were some him. side missions that had major intersections in the main story. See? See? There's reasons. Having said that, that, I'm going to go back to my Final Fantasy completion run. We loved uh -huh. each other. Uh -huh. Love? <gasps> no. I told my master what she wanted to hear. I gulled her with a lie. I thought you a fool. But no, you believed me because you wanted to. Yet you didn't believe me, did you? Not entirely. That's why you never freed me. I Something loved you, and is you happening loved with me. his eyes. It was but a piece of paper. A piece of paper and a guarantee. I needed a guarantee. You don't know what love is. You know only fear. You fear had been undesired. Being unnoticed, being alone. Your uh, true love requires you, you, you to You got like go. ghost eyes going on there for time to give this love story. Or Farty, as she calls you. Okay, now your eyes are back. This is this is kind of a it's kind of a messed up one. Uh. I don't think, don't just think he deserves to die. <sighs> you weren't right for keeping a slave. That's never okay. But you seemed to genu genuinely care about him and give him a good life to 
despite him being a slave. And it was a different time. A very different time. Uh, I think I'll go with Ascend. She's not a completely horrible person. She's a very misguided person. Very, very misguided person. But not a horrible person. Alright, we'll do Ascension. That's my goal for Antea anyway. Grieve. Your love for Fadi Miller is sincere but unwanted. You're hurting him. Let him go. Is it wrong to wish to spend your life with the man you love? You did spend your life with him. No, I'm going for the Ascension over. ending. He was mine. I want to keep him. Was I wrong? Yes. You don't own him. You can't that was own the him. part you were wrong about. Let go. Find <laughs> peace. Peace? She gets peace? After all she did? I get peace, but you get your freedom. I was wrong. I'm sorry, Fadi. For everything. See? See? She's not entirely Go bad. In peace. She just went about things the wrong way. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't feel like uh, killing a bunch of people to go the resurrection route, so I'm going the ascension route. <laughs> She deserves no peace. She put me through hell. Listen, you don't care, Banishing. Listen, dude. Just one more mad master in a madder world. Listen, listen, my dude. Sounds like you were actually given a pretty decent life considering the circumstances. And many other people were not given that. So, uh. Plus, I mean, she left you everything in her will. And she apologized at the end, realizing her mistakes. A little, little bit of a late apology, but at least she could see her wrongdoings. All right, where the heck am I going? Resurrection is what I did, and the decision were tough to get that. Yeah, I, I imagine so. I feel like the... Uh, I feel like the Ascension is a little more on par with, like, their belief systems, the, uh, Red and Antea. Excuse me. You know, considering that, uh, they believe that ghosts need to move on from the world. So... That's part of the reason why I decided to go for Ascension, because it just seems more in alignment. All right, where do I have to go for this? Where is this on the map? Oh, it's all the way over there. Uh, do I have to go through here and go like around? Or, no, oh, no, 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 I take this thing right here. Okay. Hmm. Shoot. I'm not going to be able to do uh, a main quest tonight looking at the time, but I can at least set myself up for it. Whoops. Let's run into walls now. I'll get you there ten times faster. Mm-hmm. 
there before. I gotta go at it the other way. Overall, I was trying to make the right decision, but trying to do that for resurrection was tough. Yeah, I would assume so. Because you have to do a lot of uh, sacrifices to make that happen, was my impression. Ready for another ride? Now, granted, it seems like some of the people that you come across... Circumstances aside, this is quite romantic. Maybe deserve it. Swarming hordes of specters onto your liking. If you believe in... Out if I'm with you. You know, an eye for an eye. Uh, so I, I, I debate, excuse me, Yikes. I debate that some of them may, may, uh, be better off with the blame scenario. Breeze, mate. <laughs> not as romantic as you'd thought, eh? Maybe now's the time to ask you to marry me. But it seems like Try most it, of them I'll are cut the rope. just... Just trying to get through a tough time. And there's not really a good reason to blame them. Could this be what's drawn on the map? Whoop. Don't just stand there. Move. I am moving. Move it, Red. You move it. I think we've hit a move. I think I used to count my wolf kills on one hand. Now then, if you're done interrupting me. Rude. Can I go in here before? Could this be what's drawn on the map? Hmm, I guess not. Hello? Definitely. <laughs> Since 22, defeating an enemy with a manifestation increases the damage of the next blade attack and heavy attack by 50%. Okay. If the map is correct, the treasure must be hidden nearby. What treasure? I totally forgot about the treasure. What a beautiful view. Every morning I wake to a better one. You try to tell me, lady. I'll warn you. It should definitely work. Okay. Good thing this game doesn't allow you to fall, because I definitely would have popped over some edges by now. Oh, is this another one of those elite thingies? These body parts scream manifest my specter. Yeah, I think this is one of those uh thingy mo bobby things. Elite whatever they call them. Oh, right here. 
right in front of me. Blocked. I hope there's another way in. Ding dang it. Crystal, uh, you know, surely access in May. Oh, is that right? I have it on my wish list. This isn't working. Have to keep an eye out for that. Whew. With any luck, I'll be done with one of the games I'm streaming right then. Take on a ghost. <laughs> Excuse you. Get out of here. Get. Nope. Bad. Bad ghosty. Bad ghosty. Alright. Okay, so not this way. Something's concealed. Again? Something else is concealed? Oh. Oh, it's the same thing. I'm getting pretty close to the end of BG3. Um, there's still some pretty big quests to do for sure, but definitely, uh, definitely getting towards the end of it. Here we go. Easy as pie. Nah, but you can't cook. All right, well, that wasn't the way in. Dang it. That way wasn't the way in. That one wasn't. Let's see. What about down here? Next demo coming soon. They're going to be at PAX East. Like, man, I have never gone to a PAX East, but I'd really like to at some point. Now, I live on the East Coast, so I feel like at some point I gotta make it happen. Oh, oh, a jumpy thing. To, do you know Why when the demo is coming out? So you found your way. Sebastian, what are you doing here? Hello, Sebastian. Difficult though it be to walk these dark tunnels, I'll guide you as best I can. You sure you want to come? You don't have to. I must. For Helen. Pennington did a great and terrible thing. Your death must feel like an outrage. I am a soldier. I took the shilling. Death is part of the bargain. One dies, so many may live. I served the sick and the dying. When my turn came, I was ready. But now, in the fort, there is no noble sacrifice. One dies, so all may also die. It's in Boston, so I'm like, damn, I want to go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Boston's not too far away. It's a bit of it's a bit of a trip, but it's it's doable. Not sure when the demo's coming out. I'll have to keep an eye out for it. Tell I haven't been to Boston in quite some him. time, actually. I used to go sure there more as a I kid. Also lived My wife closer to it woman. as a kid though. What you see is what you get. Every day I feel blessed to have a partner and best friend by my side. Lots of stuff to do there, though. I had never expected her. When she came into my life, I came home to myself. <laughs> Made me want to be a better man. Oh, I know the feeling. She gave me a handkerchief. I died clutching it. A symbol of our love. She was and is ever in my thoughts. She is my world. 
now until the end. What hey, shall Boston we find traffic, down there? there is worth it. The Boston traffic is very forsaken. gnarly, for sure. They trusted him. He betrayed them. He abandoned them. I, I have some family implicated. near that area, and uh, going to see them for holidays we'll is uh, very good. Always quite the trip. Whenever you're ready. For sure. But I mean, I think for Pax East, I would figure it out. Maybe take a train instead of drive? Uh, last few times that I've gone to NYC, um, that's what, that's what I ended up doing, taking a train in. Not far now, until you find what you need. I hope. Pity! I think it's better than dealing with the traffic. Out. Means you gotta gear up for a lot of walking, but good exercise. Just gotta make sure you do it when it's not too cold or too hot. Why is the music getting so weird? Am I about to land in like a freaking fighting arena here or something? Oh, fantastic. I think you can get down from here. Can I? It doesn't want to let me. Are you sure? Okay, uh, it won't let me down. Everything all right? Let's just get this over. Right, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a thingy over here. Are you angry? Let's take all the stuff while we're here. No magnetite left behind. Fast. I barely had time to bid Helen farewell. That must have been hard. A soldier is called to sacrifice. This is true. Still impressive. Button, button there. Oops. Oh, no, you don't. Damn it. I was hoping that was going to work. Once more over speeding. Oh. Oh. One of you buggers. The spirits of these soldiers were angry. Soldiers weren't spared. Those not taken by sickness or thirst died of despair. Which one took you? Despair. Most definitely. That's not a good way to go.
modded my first game been playing Dark Souls Arc Thrones been pretty brutal. Can only imagine. I mean it's already brutal without any modifications, right? These tunnels go surprisingly deep. Mm. In its heyday, it was quite the operation. You see this lift? It goes all the way down. Ooh, yeah. What was that? Something sounded like it was crumbling. I didn't oh, like it. The cart rose to the surface, piled high with ore. Oh, fun. Feel an echo ringing, like a hum. I told Gray the tunnels were hellish hot, but Wilson says he can't do much about it. Keep feeding the furnace, says he, if you want your meager pay. <laughs> that sounds nasty. You all right? Fancy working here with the furnace is running. The work Latin for punishment, are you there, Blind? To make New Eden rich. this thing go? Interesting. Seriously, something sounds like it's rumbling. Am I the only one that hears that? Ghosties can hear things. A uh, letter from a miner. Sweetheart, I write to you direct because your mother told me you were sad to hear my most recent news. All is well. We are locked in for our safety, but the disease may no longer spread. We have nurses to tend to us and the men of train van. Bring us food and water and other supplies. Soon this will all be over and I shall come home. We shall go fishing on the river and play with Dudley. I shall teach you to shoot. That shall be our little secret. Help your mother in the house and at the market. Look after your brother. Say your prayers and stay strong. I shall see you soon. Well, that didn't happen. What can I say? I enjoy the challenge. Fair enough. A malignant will is placed upon this, just like the one we found earlier. Mm. We should find that ritual seeker told us about. I've kept her notes about the hut location. Boss in the serious pool. Okay. That means I'm almost at another boss fight, which is good. I'm not gonna not gonna be able to do it tonight but it means that's a good setup for a uh, next session I 
Jesus, I knew something was crumbling. Down there. A lot of us died down here. Dead. What the hell was that? Uh oh. They're coming. Uh oh, that's right. Angry miners, angry miners. Yes, they do, because they are ghosts. Putting up a fight on your toes, Scotsman. Yep, 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 yep. Talking all the fun. No, I'm not, no, I'm not. Guy down quick. There we go. Stay on your feet, Red. Yeah, I know. Do nice of you to join side us, quest so you can open Get the to first chest. What the hell we just here. heard? Okay. I, I can't. What now? Uh, I say we push past the blockade. Follow me, please. that side quest. Do they not list the side quest? Just the uh, main one? I mean, they've got the haunting ones. That's weird. Why doesn't it say these are solved? I did solve them, but they're not marked as solved on the... Hm. Still gotta do that one, though. Huh, okay. I'll have to figure out where that side quest thingy is. Or, uh... The cursed items. If they have to go back to the witch's shop or something. Or at least back to her island. Hmm. Didn't even realize I've opened up this much of the map. Okay. Uh, this is a good place to pause for now. So I'm going to save it where we are. There we go. I like that you can save anywhere in this game. Makes it much more convenient for streaming purposes. Uh, so we'll pick it up again uh, next Sunday to uh, do the next boss fight, apparently. So thank you to everyone who uh, came in tonight, whether you stopped by and said hello or hung out. I appreciate all of you. I hope everyone has had a wonderful weekend. And that uh, you wake up nice and refreshed tomorrow, ready for a brand new week. Have a good night, everyone.